sun. I can help but think about the Lord and all the things He's done. He meets my every need. You know He's been so good to me, and I can help but praise the Lord for all He's done. For all He's done. I could praise God for And if I started now until I die There'd still be many more If I could mention only one I'd have to thank Him for His Son And that's enough to praise the Lord For all He's done For all He's done Sixth grade has been a blessing all over. I mean, they've been in all kind of churches everywhere uh, presenting the gospel, and we're certainly thankful for them being there. And they got a lot of more opportunities, Brother Xavier will tell you about a little bit later on. But I want to You know, when the Lord works miracles and answers prayer, you can't help but be touched by it. That's right. That's right. Ryan, would you and Sarah Franklin stand for just a moment, please? Yes. And I know they give God the credit, but sitting by them is a miracle of God. Yes. His name is Jackson Franklin, yes. and uh, and they know that. They've known that from the start. And in case anybody would question whether God answers prayer, you just look right back there, and you will see an answer to prayer. We're glad you folk are here today. I <laughs> As we go to the Lord in prayer, let's look to the Lord and ask His blessings on the things that will be happening for the rest of the day. It's a special day that we're honoring the sixth grade and the job that my brother Kelly has done with the sixth grade. And we're thankful for the blessing that they have been and the testimony that they've been for Oak Level all everywhere in lots of, I guess, 15, 20 churches. I don't know how many how many. 20 churches over the last uh, few weeks, and we're thankful for that, and we've got a lot more opportunities that I won't spoil the party by by saying anything about those at all at this time, but He will. But again, we're just glad you're here, and appreciate parents, grandparents, and friends coming in support, and then any, any of you that are part of Oak Level, just the Oak Level people, if others come in, they need a seat, let them have yours, and you can go down to Fellowship Hall and see the service on the TV. But anyway, if you don't mind, let's stand for prayer, if you will. Our fathers, we come to you in prayer. We are so thankful 
that you're so good to us, have blessed in so many ways. And when I saw Jackson come in, just a reminder of how you answer prayer, I just want to say again, thank you, Lord, for that. You have blessed in so many ways, and that little guy, except for your protecting hand and your guiding hand and your healing hand, would not be with us today, but we're so thankful that you took care of him. Thankful you blessed his parents, and they depended on you to be the strength and help that they needed. And I pray today, Father, for the sixth grade as they do whatever that they're led to do, that you will just bless in all of that for your glory. And Brother Xavier, as he speaks in a little bit, may your blessings be on all parts of the service. We thank you again for loving us and for caring and just bless the remainder of everything that's done. And we'll remember to give you the praise, honor, and glory. We ask it all in Christ's name. Amen. Remain standing. We're going to sing a couple of verses of a song, and then our instruments are going to play uh, a verse and give you a chance to say hello to your neighbor standing next to you. And then we'll sing the last verse. Let's turn to number 116 in your songbook. Page number 116, Victory in Jesus. hands with your neighbor.
I heard about a mansion he has built for me in glory. And I heard about the streets of gold beyond the crystal sea, about the angels singing and the old redemption story. And some sweet day I'll sing up there the song of victory. singing. You can be seated. All right. Thank you, Brother McDowell, for the good singing. Thank you there again. Everyone, let me echo what Preacher said. Thank you so much for being here. We're excited to have the young folks singing and, and sharing uh, what they've been doing uh, really all over North Carolina. And so we're uh, excited about having them part of our service today. Let me say a couple things. One, uh, we are recording the service on CD. So if you want a CD, just see me after the service and we'll get you a CD made. And that won't be any cost to you at all. And so if you want a, a copy of the CD, you'll get to hear uh, that. All right. Uh, second of all, uh, let me say uh, thank you to all the men that were able to be there yesterday and had a good time of food and fellowship uh, for the men's activity. And at the men's activity, we didn't talk about one person. Amen. So it was a men's activity. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Amen. All right. I got to poke at the ladies a little bit every now and then. So, but we had a good time. Thank you for that. Um, now that only the men are listening to me, no, because uh, I made all the ladies mad. I'm just, I was just kidding. Amen. All right. We talked about a few people. All right. No. Uh, we have Bibles uh, with the church information. Anybody like a Bible, you're welcome to have one of those. Of course, the home folk, we pass those out as a gift to anybody. No cost there. We also have magnets. Uh, that are, we got three different types of magnets. If you'd love to have a magnet, again, no cost to you on that. Just uh, help yourself, and uh, we'd love to you can have those and, and uh, get those out to you. Um, choir practice is canceled for tonight. No choir practice. Uh, uh, for those choir members that are scattered all over in the other building, no choir practice tonight. Um, and then uh, the next thing on the list, we'd love to have everyone come back. We have homecoming uh, on our, the last Sunday of May. Now we'll have uh, just uh, we're doing the old-fashioned Sunday, so overalls and all that good stuff. And then after this morning service, We'll be eating in the fellowship hall or actually the gymnasium. So uh, so if you, you're welcome to come, we'd love to have you be part of our service. And so we are so glad that you're here. The men will make the way forward. We'll go ahead and receive uh, the morning offering. We will, we're not going to do birthdays uh, and anniversaries this morning. Normally we recognize those. We'll do that tonight. We don't want to take away the time from the young people singing and all that's going on there. And visitors, if we recognize visitors, that'd take us a while today, too. So we'll, we're just glad you're here. And uh, I'd echo that. We are so glad to have Jackson Franklin and his family. We have been praying. And I told my kids in the Sunday school, I said, Jackson Franklin's going to be here today. And they were very excited because they've been praying as well. And it's all, it is good to see the Lord work. As we go, Lord, in prayer, praying for the offering today. Brother Peter, would you pray? I'm sorry, he snaked out. Brother Pyatt, would you pray for the offering? Amen.
chops. Sí. That was Sophie Marzullo is how you say her last name, and uh, I love saying that last name. Sophie is a member of our choir. She keeps us laughing, and uh, we love Sophie. Sophie's been playing piano for two years, and uh, we're so thankful that um, she could do that for us today. I want to thank you guys for being here this morning, and I'd also like to say that before I begin that... Um, this is our only God presentation where we're celebrating what God has done with our choir. But I want to say that it is also very special that the Lord uh, allowed Jackson and his family to be here for their only God situation and how God just collided that together. And I thought that was so neat um, how, how God did that. We love you, buddy. We're so glad you made it through. We're proud of you and uh, so glad you're here. And so, I, again, I just wanted to say that that, um, that touches my heart. I want to, again, say thank you for being here today. We've been a lot of places. We've done a lot of things, and uh, it's just been amazing uh, what God has done. The Lord has done an excellent work in and through these students. And so I just want to say that not only do we celebrate them and their efforts, we want to celebrate you. We want to celebrate our families. We want to celebrate everybody that pitched in along the way because this was a commitment from everybody, from a lot of different people along the way who pitched in and helped them. But um, before we get into anything else, I definitely want to say a word of thanks to uh, our Oak Level people. And, uh, and a lot of them are, are down in the, in the cafeteria. I was surprised they got kicked out so soon, but they did, so we still love them. But um, a lot of them, the school has been in operation now, I think, for 22, 23 years. And what you see us do in singing before other people and, and singing before churches is, is a great thing. But we would not have been able to do what we have done without the labor of all the people of Oak Level who have poured into that school. For 20 years, uh, people have uh, stayed into the wee hours of the morning getting classrooms ready and bathrooms ready. Remember this past summer that um, people, we had to get two bathrooms ready and, and, and a couple of families stayed until four or five o'clock in the morning, worked through the night to make sure that our school was prepared for the next year. So I say thank you to all of those people because if they would have not done what they did, we could not do what we have done. So I want to say thank you to, to the Oak Level people. And so today as we reflect uh, the goodness of God in our lives, I want you to also understand that this is... God's choir. Every door that we've walked through, every opportunity that we have had, it has been God that has opened up uh, the doors. The kids wanted to start a choir. You'll hear about this, some of that today. And we've had a lot of fun uh, along the way, kids getting stuck in vehicles and all sorts of stuff along the way. But we had a lot of laughs. We've had a lot of fun. And it's been a joy because the kids have wanted to do it. They've wanted to sing, and that, that's been the, the blessing. We've worked hard. Many people have made sacrifices, but it is the Lord who gave us the will and the desire to do of his good pleasure. Uh, we wanted to, the mayor of Stokesdale was planning on being here with us this morning, but unfortunately he uh, fell ill this morning and could not make it. Um, but he had a special uh, presentation that he wanted to present to the kids, and we asked uh, our pastor, Jay Walker, to come up and read that uh, to you this morning from our mayor, Mayor Randy, or er, Mike Crawford, excuse me. Sorry that uh, Mayor was unable to be here due to sickness, of course, and you mentioned it earlier, but here's what it said. Town of Stokesdale, a proclamation in recognition of the Oak Level Baptist Academy Youth Choir. Whereas Oak Level Baptist Academy is a K-4 through 12th grade Christian academy located in Stokesdale, North Carolina. Whereas Oak Level Baptist Academy has a staff that is dedicated to providing students with an excellent education. From academics to athletics, Oak Level Baptist Academy is dedicated to ensuring Christ gets the glory and that their students are properly equipped for wherever God takes them in life. Whereas Xavier Kelly fills a dual role as a faculty member of Oak Level Baptist Academy, as well as the director of the Oak Level Baptist Academy Youth Choir. Whereas the Oak Level Baptist Academy Youth Choir is an 11-member choir consisting of students from Oak Level Baptist Academy. 
Now, therefore, I, Michael E. Crawford, being the mayor of the town of Stokesdale, North Carolina, do hereby recognize the Oak Level Baptist Academy Youth Choir for its musical excellence and for its significant contribution to its community through musical performances. I further recognize Xavier Kelly for his devoted leadership as the director of the Oak Level Baptist Academy Youth Choir, thus enriching the lives of children through quality choral music and musical excellence. I encourage all residents of the town of Stokesdale to show their support for the Oak Level Baptist Academy and the Oak Level Baptist Academy Youth Choir, proclaimed on the 30th day of April, 2023, Mayor Michael E. Crawford, Mayor of Stokesdale, North Carolina. Thank you. Amen. And uh, we thank the, the mayor for doing that. It was unusual how him and I connected uh, through some of our parents that have been working hard. And uh, we got to sit down and uh, for a podcast and talk through some of the events of the choir. And he wanted to do that. But I also have a letter here from the office of the lieutenant governor of the state of North Carolina that says, Whereas uh, North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson takes great pleasure in paying tribute to the Oak Level Baptist Academy sixth grade choir and its devoted students through their faith, heart, Hard work and dedication to reach their goal to sing and spread the name of Jesus at the nation's capital. And whereas Oak Level Baptist Academy Choir is comprised of 11 children and accompanied by 6th grade teacher Xavier Kelly, associate pastor of Oak Level Baptist Church. And whereas Oak Level Baptist Academy Choir recorded a CD entitled Jesus Never Fails. And whereas the mission of the Oak Level Baptist Academy Choir is to sing from the heart so they can save souls. And whereas the vision of Oak Level Baptist Academy Choir is to glorify God by singing His praises and encouraging others to, uh, to love God and love each other. And whereas the state of North Carolina recognizes the success of the Oak Level Baptist Academy Choir, applauds their diligence, and is proud of all their efforts, and whereas today we celebrate the Oak Level Baptist Academy Choir members and their faithfulness this 25th day of April 2023. And so we commend, uh, of course, uh, the, the sixth grade students for their diligence. And I have uh, one more here from the United States Senate from uh, uh, Senator Tom Tillis that reads, Dear friends, I am pleased to extend my warmest greetings to everyone gathered to celebrate the Oak Level Baptist Academy Middle School Choir for their devotion to sharing their faith. Our nation was founded on a strong belief in religious liberty, and I am grateful to the students for sharing their gift of music. You are making a difference in countless lives, and I thank you for demonstrating your unwavering faith and service to God. I wish you all the best for a joyous day of celebration and fellowship and hope you have a wonderful trip to Washington, D.C. May God bless you and your family. Sincerely, Tom Tillis, United States Senator. So we have an opportunity here when we go to Washington, D.C. in the middle of May uh, to, uh, to sing on the steps of the United States Capitol with Senator Tillis. And that's going to be a wonderful thing that we get to participate in. But uh, again, these are doors and, and things that, that God has opened. And we are so thankful to him for, for, for doing that. The students have learned that a man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. The Lord put it in the heart of these students to sing. But then it was God that opened up the, the doors and used different people along the way that just opened every door that God opened. That we just sat back and we were just kind of uh, you know, surprised at, at what, what God was doing. But I think of Josiah in the Bible, King Josiah, who was eight years old when he began to reign over Israel. And God used him in a special way uh, to change Israel. And so no matter your age, no matter where you're at in life, God can use you if you want to be used uh, by him. At this time, we have a video presentation prepared to show you the places God has allowed us to go and the people he's allowed us to interact with. You will find professional photos and just the candid photos, uh, photos that show you that uh, we've just had fun along the way. We've laughed, we've cried, we've been upset, we've been happy, but all along God's got the glory. So please uh, enjoy this uh, video presentation of Jesus Never Fails.
mighty things history will tell us of all they've done and said but there is only one king who rose up from the dead and he stands above the rest his name forever blessed Jesus Of all these ages, these kings will all bow down, presidents and royalty, faces to the ground. There will be no doubt that Jesus Christ is Lord, and I'll be there to see him, seated on his throne. There will be a holy roar. You can tell they may be stressed this morning. That's okay. It's easier sometimes to sing in front of people that you don't know than it is to sing in front of people that you do know. So, um, but anyways, they, they did a great job. And as you, you saw on the video presentation, we've just been able to be a part of a lot of things. And we praise the Lord for it, things like that. And while well, you've heard from me what God has done in and through our choir, I wanted you to be able to hear from some of the other people uh, that we've partnered with, how God has worked in the hearts of many people, uh, and hear from our students, parents, and other pastors about what these students have 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 meant to different people. Um, at Brother Clay, we had special prayer this past Friday, and 
And like he said, originally this began as a, as a little bit of a fundraiser, but the Lord just used it to encourage a lot of people. And I hope as you uh, hear these testimonies that you will understand um, the sentiment b- behind that. The first pastor, Pastor Tim Cruz of the Shining Light Baptist Church in Monroe, North Carolina, where I grew up. He says, Dear Mr. Kelly in sixth grade choir, thank you for letting God use you as he has these last several months. Your commitment to practice and excellence has been demonstrated in each opportunity you have been given. We are very thankful for how blessed we were to have you here at Shining Light. May the Lord bless your trip to Washington, D.C. You have been you have seen firsthand how God provides for those who are wholehearted in their devoted devotion and service to him. God bless you as you walk in his will for each of your lives. Uh, Robert Collins of Box Mountain Baptist Church says, it gives me hope as a pastor, as a parent, and also as a person, that there are still young people serving the Lord with such passion and dedication. To know that there are still young people with a burden for lost souls stirs my heart. Our church really enjoyed having them come and sing for us. Many people have told me how much of a blessing and help they were for them. This group of young people is such an encouragement, with several exclamation points. Pastor Jason Belcher of the Vance Street Baptist Church says, We recently had the pleasure and honor to have the Oak Level Baptist Academy 6th grade choir come to our church and sing and worship the Lord with us. What a privilege it was to see these young people serving the Lord in song and being used by Him to be a blessing to others and see God minister to hearts through His ministry. Uh, May the Lord's hand continue to bless this wonderful choir. Pastor Mark Smith of the True Gospel Baptist Church says, Brother Xavier and the 6th grade choir from Oak Level Baptist Academy came to our church at True Gospel Baptist Church in Madison to sing for us on two different occasions, once for the Preacher's Fellowship and once for their main church. The first time was in early January and the second time was late February, and I would have to say that the word I would use to describe their singing would be the word refreshing. The unity of the kids, their smiles, and their singing uh, was like refreshing water from the stream of heaven. It is so encouraging to see young people sing for the glory of God and and, uh, and and make a difference to others in their lives and for the glory of Christ. We at True Gospel Baptist Church pray the blessings of God to be poured out in the days to come upon their choir. Amen. And that's Pastor Mark Smith. At this time, I'd like to call Carly, Carlin, Landon, uh, Miss Crisco, and Mr. Hill, if they would come to the platform, please. They, The students and both the parents um, wrote testimonies about what the choir has meant to them and their families uh, as students, uh, as parents, and I want you to be able to hear uh, what, uh, what our choir has, has meant to them. This is what choir means to me. I have enjoyed being in choir. I have always liked singing, but being in choir has made me love it. I can't believe we went from singing in chapel to oak level and then to almost 20 churches. Mr. X said it was God that did that. I wanted to say thank you to Mr. X for helping us get to go to D.C., and I also wanted to say thank you to Miss Amanda for coming and helping Mr. X take care of us. And I also wanted to say thank you to Miss Stephanie for contacting Senator Tillis, and now we get to sing on the steps of the Capitol where he will be watching us. I am so glad we get to sing about Jesus. I love hearing Mr. X preach, but most of all, I love hearing him play piano. I am thankful that God opened all these doors. I hope Mr. X will be able to move up so we can keep doing choir. I am so happy we got to sing at my church. I will always remember our group. I pray that someone will be saved by us singing. I hope he will answer my prayers because Jesus never fails. Amen. Choir means a lot to me. We have, we have had serious moments and funny moments, but most importantly, I've grown a strong relationship with God. I have learned a lot of powerful songs over the last year. Songs like Jesus Never Fails and Jesus What a Mighty Name. I know these songs are true. Personally, I love choir. I love singing about Jesus and how he loves me and how mighty he is. Choir means so much to me, I don't even feel forced to do what I want to sing. It's, a, it's special because God is using a bunch of sixth graders to sing for him. At other churches, there are not a lot of sixth graders who get to make a CD. Choir is my favorite part of school, not because I get I get out of doing work, but because I love choir. When I am lonely or sad, the songs we sing and the choir reminds me that I am never alone because I know Jesus. It is my favorite. It is. It makes the choir more special to me. I never 
mad that we must go to choir practice. Choir means the world to me, and I am sad that it's coming to an end. Thank you. Thanks to this choir, I, I pray more than I used to, and I remember the songs that I've learned and never stop praying to Jesus. I will never forget how choir has changed my life. I used to be scared to sing in front of people, and now I can because of Jesus. I can't wait to see what God does next. I hope and pray that our choir journeys do not end with this school year. This year, choir has meant a lot to me. I know school comes before choir, but choir has been a big opportunity for God to work in my heart. And it's also been a huge opportunity for me to come more closer to God. It really makes me feel good to hear how I've changed the past two years, especially to hear it from a teacher I've had for the last two years. Mr. X, you've inspired me to be a better person, and I want to say I'm thankful for that. I really am. This year, you and God have really shown me how much better of a person I can be when I just trust in the Lord. I feel it, and I know it. Oak Level has really changed my life, and it shows. I'm really looking forward to the rest of my time at Oak Level. God has changed my life a lot, and because of that, I'm a whole different person today, and I'm thankful to God, thankful to God for that. Choir means so much to me, and it has also changed my life. In, f in fifth grade, Two other students and I asked if we could start a choir. Mr. X said no, but God told him yes. So we started one, and to this day, it runs in Mr. X's class. But choir has changed my life, and I really do believe it. So much that I want to do it next year. Mr. X, you and God have been a big part of my life these past two years, and I thank you for that. Our family is new to Oak Level and ended up here last fall after a sudden turn of events. We are new to the area and my husband AJ in the back and I optimistically enrolled our two girls in the local public schools in elementary and middle school. We expected new challenges but the weeks went on and the continual issues we saw bubbling up to the surface from the middle school were concerning and unsettling, but we continued to wade through it. I told myself, after all, this is middle school and it's not the 80s anymore. At least in elementary school, things were generally fine. One day, my youngest daughter, Claire, came home from fifth grade elementary and asked me, in a, very, asked me a very simple question. Mom, I'm so confused. Today at school, we learned about Thanksgiving and my teacher was reading from our book and she skipped a line where it said that the pilgrims gave thanks to God. Why did she do that? It was a simple question. It really did floor me there. And I was jolted with the sudden reality that I wanted my kids to go to a school where the teachers can speak openly about God. Amen. My husband agreed and in 48 hours, it was actually just the following day, we were practically here, <laughs> they were sitting in class at Oak Level. My oldest daughter told me that she was going to be in a choir. I probably reacted the same way I do with every other additional activity. I was probably half listening while doing, throwing a dinner together, or pile, folding a pile of laundry, and I doubt I processed the news much deeper than wondering how we fit another thing into our already crammed schedules. But I was glad that she'd have a chance to learn and try something new. And my husband had the same reaction, and we really didn't think much more about it. My husband and I, and my mother, right up in front, and our daughter, we have attended as many choir events as we've been able to do, with the intention of being a moral support. <coughs> But with each event, we saw something bigger unfolding. Instead of our family being a cheering section, we became witnesses to an amazing transformation of this choir that has now become a powerful voice of God. I have personally seen that even on the nights when the choir was small because of absences, the power that came through these kids was even more. And we've also gotten to know the families and the kids 
through the fellowship that brought us to the church, and we brought other people to the church that otherwise would have never come. Our family has come a long way from leaving behind a classroom where God's name was never mentioned to where we are now at Oak Level where God's name is not only mentioned but exalted and praised in such an incredibly powerful and beautiful way as through this choir. Thank you, God, for this blessing for Oak Level and all who have been supportive and involved. And Mr. Kelly, to the sixth grade choir and their families for this incredible sacrifice and all your hard work. The Oak Level Baptist Academy sixth grade choir has been a tremendous blessing to our family. Our daughter has always been shy and reserved, so taking a chance on switching schools and removing her from all of her friends was risky. We have received nothing but blessings from the transition to Oak Level Baptist Academy. When we first became aware of the choir and the commitment it would take, we were apprehensive. We soon realized that it was something our daughter thoroughly enjoyed. We're extremely involved with our home church, so allowing her to miss services was a big deal to us. We spoke to our pastor and he reminded us that she was involved with the choir and that that was her way of serving God and sharing his word. That moment we realized we didn't need to hold her back from fully participating in the choir. She needed to attend all of the events possible because that would allow her to share the goodness of God. Not only has she been able to be a blessing to others while participating in the choir, but she has received blessings of seeing classmates saved and even helping two young boys to understand salvation and accepting Christ as their personal savior. Amen. The blessing we as our parents have received have been nothing short of amazing and we have watched our reserved little girl mature and emerge from her shell into a confident young lady. Oak Level Baptist Academy is a small Christian school but the dedication of the staff and willingness to guide children in the ways of Jesus is immeasurable. Our pastor was encouraged to see that such a small church has such a burden for young people that they formed the school to provide a Christian atmosphere for children to succeed academically and grow spiritually. We're all amazed by the impact Oak Level Baptist Academy has had on others, especially the sixth grade choir. And just to add a little bit to that, um, going kind of what Chris Gosket said about the uh, public school system and stuff, my wife being a public educator, that was also a hard decision for us to pull um, our daughter out of public schools and put her into a Christian school. But again, it's been one of the biggest blessings that we've received. Um, outside of everybody at Oak Level, I really want to say a special thanks to uh, Mr. X and everything that he has done and poured into the kids of the sixth grade choir. I know you've heard a lot about our choir and, and where we've been and things like that. But I, I want to make sure that everybody knows that from the beginning of this year, I just, um, the Lord put a love in my heart for these kids more than what is usual in a classroom setting. And at the beginning of the, the year, um, as with a lot of different things, um, I, I called my, my father and, and who's here today with my grandparents and my mother and I'm thankful that they're here. But I, I called him and we were talking through a couple of things and he's a good sounding board because he's very level headed. I'm not sometimes. And uh, I called him and we talked through a couple of things and he said, Xavier, he said, nobody cares about your title. Nobody cares about your, your role. He said, but the people who do care about your voice is those sixth graders because they know you care. And I, and I, I, um, I, when he said that, I just kind of rolled through and I, it didn't take it to heart really what he said until the Lord started this choir and everything that we have done and that we have been a part of, it is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. We never could have thought along the way that God would have opened the doors that he's opened, that he's allowed the laborers to come through and partner together the way that he has to go to so many churches like we have and to see God open so many doors. And we give him the praise and the honor and the glory for it. We're going to sing two more songs for you just, just briefly. And I want you to listen to the, the words of both. When... We choose songs for the choir. We choose songs that, or I choose songs that really speak to my heart. 
that are very close to my heart. Some of them have been, we planned out, and some of them have been very spur of the moment. I remember one of the songs we, we learned in one hour, and we sang it um, the, the next time we had a church service, and, and the kids did great, and I like that spontaneity and the, the ability to do that. But over the year, the Lord has just fine-tuned a couple of different things, and, and the Lord has put our voices together, and we've just been here to, to serve him. So please listen to these next two songs that the kids sing entitled The Power of the Cross. And thank you, Jesus, for the blood applied. Amen.
separated, the breach was far too wide. From the far side of the chasm, you had me in your side. So you made a way across the great divide. Left behind heaven's strong to build it here inside. There at the cross, you paid the debt I owed. Broke my chain, freed my soul, for the first time I had hope. Thank you, Jesus, for the And life has no end For I have been transformed By the blood of the Lamb Thank you, Jesus, for the blood applied Thank you, Jesus, it has washed me white Thank you, Jesus, you saved Wow. 